Hi, I'm Tourmaline, and I'm in Summit Rock in Central Park, which is the former site of Seneca Village, here talking a little bit about my practice and the work in the upcoming show. So I work a lot from right here, which is Summit Rock in Central Park, the former place of Seneca Village. I come here and sometimes I make a film, sometimes it'll be inspiration for screenplays. I've done multiple bodies of photographs, uh, photographic work here. Summer is, our, is really inspired by the stories of the people who fly and Marsha B. Johnson and her organization, STAR. Marsha really harnessed the power of the celestial expanse and tuned to how that was unfolding in her now moment of time. She was a person that knew that what she dreamed up was possible, whether it was new ways of self-fashioning, providing support for people in her community, or being light years ahead of her time in terms of art and performance. Afrofuturism to me is about asking questions like, what if, or what could be, or what do we want? What happened in the past that was meaningful? Where do we want to go in the future? And then knowing that those dreams and desires are possible. I've been coming to the Met Museum for over 20 years, and it's really where I started learning about art in such a kind of important way. So to be included in the collection, be included in the show, um, specifically a show that has made up you know, such a large part of my work, whether it's Seneca Village or People Could Fly or Afrofuturism, is really a goal and a dream realized.